We're tooling around with Bob at Lakeland General Store in Dunn Villa. I'll tell you what, it's fall cleanup, taking care of those last of the season projects. And boy, have we got a really piece of cool equipment here. Yeah, yeah, the ditch witch. What'd you call me? <laughs> the ditch witch. No, that's oh, a piece of equipment. Oh, ditch witch. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I said it right there. So you might, you might, there's a lot of reasons why you'd use this. Most often we see people trenching in a power line sure. or a sprinkler system or sure. whatever you need to make a trench for. Um, you can either get our shovel and do it the hard way, or you can come to Lakewood General Store and rent a piece of equipment like this, and uh, I'll just show you in a second how easy it makes it. Yep. Again, it comes with its own little cool trailer. Just drive it up on here, and it just, it's a tilt bed. Little, little hook in the front, little hook in the back. Yeah, the actually locking mechanism yep, in the trailer. Yep, so we'll go backwards here, take it off, just pull the spin, drop this bar down. You got one up front too. You got one up front here. Pretty simple. Got a little pressure on there. I'll pull it forward and get that off there. And then there's just a pin that holds the tilt bed on the trailer in place. Do me a favor. I'm going to pull forward. Yep, pull I'll that pull pin, pin out. Couple key pieces here. First and foremost, call before you dig, right? right. Yep. Always do that. Now this has already been, we've already had this done a few times out here, so we know that this spot, that there's nothing out here, but it's absolutely imperative, call before you dig. You never know what you might hit, you don't know what's out there, you don't want to get shocked or just cause yourself unnecessary expense, call before you dig. Call before you dig. Okay, you've done that, now you got your piece of equipment. It's really simple to run. This is our track machine, we have a wheeled one. We also have smaller ones as well that are man-powered. This is self-propelled. Um, the big key with the trenched one though, uh, it's a little easier, like if you got a long ways to go or if you've got some terrain, you're gonna probably want the trenched one. But when you start digging, it's important wherever you're digging, you plan for a straight lines. So you're gonna go for a straight line. If you got a turn, you're gonna stop, get it out of the ground and then go the other way. Right. What happens is people try to turn with this thing and because it will, you break the end. The last guy, it cost him 2,500 bucks. So very important you don't turn. So plan out your dig first, which way you wanna go. Then we're simply gonna get it in place and I'll show you again in you know when we use it, but all we're gonna do is drop the boom down into the ground. We're gonna spin that chain backwards and then walk backwards. Okay. Okay. It does reverse in case you get in a bind or you hit a rock or something like that, you can get yourself out of trouble. We're not gonna have any of that out here, I don't believe, but we'll find out in a second. So it's turnkey. Full throttle. That's your boom. To engage your lever, just simply. And then you just go backwards. As you can see, that's incredibly simple to dig it's a trench. Amazing. This is a pretty easy ground here without a lot of rocks, but and this will go up to 33 inches deep. It's but as you can see, it digs a nice three inch wide hole. Right. Um, I only went I don't know probably what about a foot deep, but it yeah, can go much deeper than that. I just wanted to give you an idea how it works. Yeah, and it's the ditch witch. It's available for rental here. We're tooling around with Bob at Lakeland General Store in Dunvilla. <laughs>